today's video we will see how to solve numerical problems on dot product and cross product you will be given with two vectors and you will be asked to find the dot product and cross product directly let us take the first example so you have you are asked to find the dot product of two vectors a vector and b vector a vector is given as 2ax cap minus 2ay cap plus az cap and b vector is given as 3ax cap plus 5ay cap minus 2az cap from the definition of dot product we know that two vector dot product that is a vector dot p vector is given as product of magnitudes of these two vector right so in my previous theoretical video this was well explained so ax dx plus ay dy plus az dz so it bz okay so you can directly make use of this formula so here ax is 2 ay will be minus 2 and az will be 1 bx will be 3 by will be 5 and bz will be minus 2 so substituting those values here i get this as 2 into 3 plus minus 2 into 5 plus Yes, that is one. One into minus. So if you compute this, you get it as six minus ten. One into two minus two. Six minus ten minus two. So this is minus twelve. So you get it as six minus twelve. It's nothing but minus six. this indicates that since it is having a minus sign this indicates that this scalar value is lying on the negative side of the plane if it if these two vectors are in xy plane then your product will be lying on negative side of xy plane okay so that is the meaning next let us see how to find the cross product of two vectors so we are asked to find the vector product of two vectors or cross product of two vectors so let us take an example let a vector be 2ax cap let a vector be 2 ax cap Plus three ay cap minus az cap and b vector b minus four ax cap minus two ay cap plus five az cap minus two ay cap plus five az cap. So you are asked to find. the vector product or cross product between this vector and this vector so how can we find again we will make use of the formula for finding the cross product directly okay so how what we have derived in our theoretical class for a cross b how to find a cross b a cross b can be found as the determinant of ax cap a y cap a z cap magnitude of a vector that is a x a y a z then b x b y b z right now to this 
determinant, you substitute the values. We know that a x is 2, a y, uh, sorry, this is a x cap, a y cap, a z cap. Then substitute the values of a x, a y and a z. a x is 2, right, a y is 3 and a z is minus 1. Then this is minus 4, minus 2, then 5. Then we need to find the determinant. So how to find the determinant? So when I am finding AX cap, okay, nowadays you use calculators, but otherwise this into this minus this into this AX cap. So that way you can proceed. So 5 into 3, that is 15, 15 minus 2, this much. AX cap minus, second term will be minus, right? This term is minus, so minus AY cap, right? 5 into 2, 10 minus 4 AY cap plus last term 2 into minus 2, that is minus 4 minus minus, so plus 12 AZ. So this will yield you 13 AX cap minus 6 AY cap plus 8 AZ cap. So this is your A cross B. So these two exercises helps you right in understanding that when you do the dot product you will get a single value as the answer. We got it as minus 6 or negative 6. And when we did cross product between two vectors, the answer is a third vector, right? Which is 13ax cap minus 6ay cap plus 8az cap. Similarly, you can practice more problems on finding dot product and cross product. In my next video, I will explain one more application of cross product and dot product in the sense cross product and dot product can be used to find angle between two vectors. Okay, so in my next video, let us see how to do that. For now, thank you.